everyone, and happy Wednesday. Um, this week's topic is about um, navigating through relationships before transitioning and during transitioning. Uh, I will admit that I don't have a lot of experience um, with romantic relationships, especially before uh, transitioning, but mostly it's been um, platonic, so like friendships and family relationships. So uh, before I started transitioning, um, it's it was hard. I mean, I'm not going to lie because... I mean, none, no one really knows what you're going through. It sort of, it, it sort of grates on you that they're using the wrong pronouns or for some others, uh, maybe they're using the, like, the wrong name, but you can't really fault them because they don't know since you haven't, um, since you either haven't came out or you haven't told them. Because that's uh, my situation, is that I'm I'm still not out with a lot of people. Uh, I'm only out with a few. Um, family, um, I'm only out to my mom and my two siblings. And they're all pretty supportive. Mostly, though, um, yeah, I think it was only, yeah, one of my siblings... And my mother that knew before I started transitioning but like almost right after um, I came out to them that's when I started on T so I only have minimal experience it's in general it's frustrating to navigate through different relationships when you're not when you're not out because again, like I said, like no one knows, <laughs> so you can't really fault any anyone, and then it confuses you, and uh, yeah, it makes it's a not an easy time, and then when you are out to some of them, it's it's hard. I guess it's even the most supportive person it's hard for them like especially for the pronoun thing it's hard for them to um, I guess make the switch in their mind because in a way it's sort of with us making the switch in our mind has been happening for mostly years has been happening for years even if we didn't fully know at the time what the change was um, some changes were happening so we were getting used to it ourselves but them to them it sort of feels like we sprung it on them so it'll take them so don't feel so discouraged if it does take them a while for them to get um, the pronouns right and your name right of course if it does happen uh, multiple times where it looks like they're not even trying then that's when you probably would have to have a separate conversation with them and fully uh, and fully explain what you need because mostly they're probably if they I don't know why I mean you, you think you tell them once and then but they keep switching back to the old name or the old pronouns and you sort of have to have the conversation all over again it's like they think because you are not correcting them they think it's okay so it's, so, it's still okay for me to say these set of pronouns and say your dead name even though it's not so you have to don't be surprised if you have to have the conversation multiple times. <laughs> um, like currently with my family, they're barely getting used to it. 
my extended family, they don't, they don't know, so I mean, I, again, I can't fault them because they don't know. Um, friendships, friendships are a little better. My friends, um, again, not a lot of my friends know, only uh, my two closest best friends know. And so far, they've been really, they've been really good. Um, one of them, my best friend since elementary school, he, um, for the most part, he gets my pronouns pretty well, and, um, he, and any questions he has, they're pretty appropriate, and, uh, he asks me, and I have no problem explaining things. So, with him, it's, it's, I don't know, some something about with friends it's it's a tad bit easier than with family even if they knew you for this almost the same length of time <laughs> um, my other friend uh, she's barely getting used to like the pronoun usage and stuff but she, at least she's trying though like when she makes a mistake she corrects herself so um, you know, as long as long as they know, as long as they consciously know that they're making that mistake and they're actively trying to fix it, then you're on the right path. They will eventually 100% get it. Unfortunately, in the beginning, it takes time. Um, yeah, so that's mostly before and after. Romantically, I just recently got into a relationship most likely if I figure out how I'll either put a picture there or, or there um and romantically romantic relationships uh, well especially for me since it's long distance I'm not gonna lie it's it's hard because she is so far away <laughs> but um at the same time it's one of the best relationships I have so far because it's it's just I mean especially if you're with someone that's open so the communications open and you're able to explain yourself and they're able to um, sort of reaffirm your gender because even in my worst days where like my anxiety's up, my depression's up, my dysphoria is up, she makes me feel better because she would either text me or when we were Skyping, she would say, oh, um, my handsome boyfriend, or um, just basically just, just the use of masculine masculine terms to uh, describe me she would often use and that makes it a whole lot better so yeah with her um, navigating through um, this transition especially since me transitioning is really new um, she's helped me a lot I mean especially emotionally so I, I do thank her for that. So yeah, that's mostly it that uh, I really have experience with. Uh, I If this topic does come back, I probably could say more as I come out to more people. Right now my circle is limited because I'm just chicken <laughs> and I'm taking my sweet time. I mean, especially since, like, I barely started tea, like, I think, oh, today's my three months, actually. So, yeah, so I've only been on tea for, like, three months, and no major changes other than, um, well, slight facial hair, but nothing too visible, so no one really notices but me, because I'm, like, in the mirror, constantly looking, obsessing, almost. <laughs> So, yeah, that's mostly uh, all I have to say about the topic. I hope if anyone else has anything to add, 
please feel free to leave it in the comment section. Um, yeah, so I hope everyone has a great day, and I hope everyone has a great week, and I'll see you all next week.